when a ray of light incident on a denser medium to a rarer medium it bends away from the normal for example the ray a o1 and b is depicted here the incident ray a o1 is a partially reflected o1 c and partially transmitted o1 b or refracted the angle of refraction r being larger than the angle of incidence Now, as the angle of incidence increases, so does the angle of refraction till for the ray A O three. You are able to see. I change the angle A O two. You are able to see the angle of incidence and angle of R. The R is increasing now. Now I made it as A O three. You are able to see O four. the angle of refraction is lesser over here at o4 there is no refraction the entire thing is reflected so this is partially reflected rays and this is totally reflected rays so the angle of refraction is a pi by 2 90 degree the refracted ray is bent so much away from the normal that it creases the surface at the interface between the two media this is shown by a o 3 d if the angle of incidence is increased still further the ray a o 4 there is no refraction is and the incident ray is totally reflected this is called as totally internal reflection when light gets reflected by a surface normally some fraction of it gets transmitted the reflected ray therefore is always less intense than the incident ray howsoever smooth the reflecting surface may be in total internal reflection on the other hand no transmission of light takes place the angle of incidence corresponding to an angle of refraction 90 degree say a o3 n is called the critical angle for the given pair of media as per snell's law sin i sin r is equal to n to 1 if the relative refractive index is less than 1 then the maximum value of sin r is unity there is an upper limit to the value of sin i for which the law can be satisfied that is i is equal to ic so that sin ic is equal to the refractive index n to 1 this is called the critical angle such that uh, since uh, sin ic is equal to n to 1 for values of i larger than ic snell's law of refraction cannot be satisfied and hence no refraction is possible so the refractive index of denser medium 2 with respect to the rarer medium 1 is given by n12 is equal to 1 by sin ic